Hello and welcome back to our series on creating a game and we were in the middle of creating power and um, what I will do is since I've done that I haven't checked to see if the power still works on this light um, <laughs> this could be interesting um, don't think it should have changed much oh I did I changed um, I did change something so this probably won't work um, let's turn the generator on it probably won't work because it's not going to propagate power because I changed something didn't I yes I indeed I did and that was in here so let's have a look was it in the generator tick yes it was there we go so what are we not setting to powered well we need to set all the ports to powered so it's simple enough um, so instead of just setting this to powered um, <laughs> BP electrical connector we need to for loop okay this is what we're going to do for now until we set up um, fuses and stuff um, we're just going to fall out through the air so this is going to set it on this is going to set it off and either way it's going to come through to here the array is in the config is this okay and for each element in the array we are going to set this powered so it should be coming out as one anyway so all we need to do is go into there how easy was that <laughs> it's already referencing the same type so we'll just bring that down and thank you no, that wasn't right that's better and this also still needs to jump to there because that's where it came to last time oh no i'll have to jump into there won't it that's better let's bring that uh, back across here yeah, that's not too much of a problem we'll bring that across there okay so that should in theory automatically set our power i'm not saying it has because you know what it's been like um <laughs> switch our generator on let's see if we've got any errors we do clear log let's turn the generator back off and then back on okay and did we get any errors no we didn't so it's not coming on and why is that let's just check our outputs so we've got all these and can we view them we can't can we so the setting has connected the power is on so it's on number four there so let's come into our light and the connector it is connected but it's not saying it's powered okay so why isn't it powered and are they not working have we got any output errors no um let's have a look in our generator so it's going through them all and powered is not in scope why is it not in scope right it's coming through that's there so it's powered is on so it's going through each of those it's not giving me ah here we go here we go let's have a look power to true power true power true power true okay so they're all powered so why are they not telling anything for powered so I want to look at this one next don't I so let's go back in uh, run that 
let's turn our generator on and let's come back into here we're not going to be able to view this are we because it's individual that's just the cable we can't view that either um powered connector base so let's have a look what this connection is connection object and which one is it connected to we're looking inside there so connected but it's not having power okay so let's have a look at the cable um the cable itself did ah is this our little problem with the cable that we have been having that it needs to be moved again yes it has no connection okay so let's there we go let's try that then let's hope that this time the cable itself has connection yeah so generator on yay as you can see our code still works with our new connections and then we've turned it off it's off turned it on it takes a couple of seconds because it's got to communicate all the way through there we go perfect there we have it um i forgot actually what we was going to do in this episode um which is a little bit annoying um probably more so for you guys um but the power is setting on that's fine um we do have a maximum power setting i believe anyway it's set up max power yeah every time something's connected we need to tell this what it is don't need to talk direct to this what we need to do is we need to get this to tell the cable um what power usage it has so current connected power usage no 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 power usage yeah and we're going to change that to a float okay so now we know that that has a power usage yeah and how do we tell it that it has a power usage um when it connects yeah so we're going to do that on our for now it's going to be in our cable construct script yeah set connections yeah so we've got all the information and we now you need to set the power usage of this cable so to set that we're going to get we need to find the object um do we are we storing the output object in here but not are we just getting it from there so electrical connector well we're going to set it in the electrical connector um required power and that's going to be float so this connector is going to have a required power so we're going to get that on begin play probably and that the required power for this connection is going to be gotten from its parent actor yeah so we're going to set that and it's going to no we're gonna to have to do it the other way we're gonna to have to do it from the parent actor so we're gonna go backwards so this one is going to say right um on begin play um are we connected we haven't got a connected in here have we in the light base so we're checking for power we're switching the light so we're going to do it in here so is on 
So this is function called is on. So what we're going to do is if the light is visible or if the light is on, how are we doing that? Um, B switched on. There we go. That's going to be a boolean. Okay. And we're then going to set that here to the same as here. That will change later on because we're going to need to connect a switch. So we're going to have to figure something out on that. So, so is it on? If it is, um, in fact, no. Let's 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 get rid of this. Is on. Let's delete that. We don't need to put it there. When this is switched on, um, we're going to branch here. Ooh, look at that again. Branch off this. So if it's on, we're going to set the component, the electrical base connector here. Um, set power required power to this power usage and otherwise we will set required oh, okay duplicate this so if it's false we'll set required power to zero the connector now knows now how does the cable know so we are checking for power yeah do we do it in the check for power or do we have a separate one to get the current power or do we send it using this um if it's connected then no we've got the required power here which way around do we do it do we send it from the electrical connector i think we should um because on, on any change um we can send it through to the cable we're checking for power yeah so check for power so if it is powered If it's connected true if it's powered set the power so we're going to branch here off from whether it's powered or not so if it's powered then what we need to do is from there set um, power usage to setting the connected power required power to this yep to the connected cable so we should now have a connected power on this so let's get the cable and we don't have any jibbity but it's done it again let's do that <laughs> right electrical cable powered and there's no power usage on it so we're going to turn the generator on and then let's check the cable it has a power usage of one and then the generator turn it off it still has a power of one but that should change i would have thought so why isn't that changing so the this here has got required power of zero it hasn't sent it to the electrical cable 
this electrical cable still says that so why doesn't it say to the electrical cable where are we setting that from there we're setting it from here how often is this going check for power it's every tick so it'll say if connected oh if connected ah uh, okay so if it's false we still need to come to here let's bring that out and if this is false it still needs to so it doesn't matter if it's powered or not it still just needs to set it doesn't it so we don't need this branch that can go straight in there and all we're going to do is set this itself let's just try to do that up a little bit oh i keep doing that wait for it to change there we go then go down so if it's not connected oh we can't get the connected cable if it's not connected so that's easy enough um if it's not connected this shouldn't be there should it no let's get rid of that alt click on nodes removes them um we can only do it if it's got a connected cable if the cable is disconnected we need a, a bit of code for that but that's all going to become when we change disconnecting and connecting of code so let's make sure that cables connect oh it's not again it's not again the connection the construction script is really strange should just normally run so electrical cable has no power usage um because there's no power going anywhere let's switch it on and the electrical cable has a power usage and let's switch the jenny back off and it should there we go no power usage that's filtering back so then that now can come to here so this here we need to check if it's an input and output <laughs> so if it's powered so at the end of this if it's an output connection on the cable um we need to get its power usage um but the power usage is already on the cable okay so we need to now tell the connected output pin that it's yeah which which of the outputs is it going to go to we need to find whichever one it is um so if it's this one we need to set the end connector set power required power on only the output connector of power usage that's already in the cable it, it will make sense this at some point <laughs> um, and then we need to do the same on here um, yeah we need to do the same on there so we need to duplicate that bring that along helping just that one up and this one is going to come from there i'm just gonna put it straight through it doesn't really make any difference um i'm going to set the power usage of the required power and if that's the same there if it's an input it doesn't we need to reset it to zero is that right there Does that seem right? Okay. 
so we need to set the output no we need, don't need to do it if it's coming from an input do we no so only if there so let's run oh no we do have it we do have it no we have it electrical cable yeah we do power usage zero generator activated power is on and electrical cable has a power usage of one yeah and then let's have a look at the generator input now I don't know which one's connected to um, oh I can't see it. check there can I I need to check in here I need to come in here and see which one is required power one zero required power one okay so if we go in here and turn the power off so generator um, base turn it off then if we come back in here come back here and it was zero wasn't it required power ah, is zero nice so now we have um yeah we have a current power usage so what we're going to do is we're going to on event tick we're going to display also current power usage so all we're going to do is add in this and we want a couple of spaces current power usage yeah colon space and then we're going to add another pin now what we need to do is a little bit of math so we need to bring this in and then you need to for each loop and unfortunately this is going to have to come in here and then back out up there let's bring this up um, let's zoom out a little bit um, I might move this to like a little debug section um, maybe do some stuff so we need a little variable um, in config I think I'm going to call this um, current power usage and it's going to be a float and each time we come in here we're going to set it to oh damn let's get rid of that I hate it when it automatically does that it might be useful in some instances though so set current power to zero and then we want to do a little bit of math oh no that's got to go before isn't it let's do that to there and then you back to there um so i'll reset the current power to zero the current power count and we're going to check it again so how do we do that so what we bring out is this and then we just go get required power and then we're going to use something called um add <laughs> so that was a bit long-winded for that so required power add um current power and then we're going to set the current power to that on the loop body ah this oh nearly made a big 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 boo -doo. so we're going to bring this down i'm going to disconnect this and then i'm going to connect that to the completed because 
otherwise it will keep repeating itself so each time it goes through it's going to add the required power of each object to there and it's going to then we're going to go and put the current power into there why it goes all weird and up there for i don't know well there we go so this should now tell us what the current power usage is so let's run it and find out current power usage is at zero so we click on this generator click activate and that should go up to one but it hasn't and the, and the ah is this our cable again yes it is it is very very random this is okay run it again current power usage is a zero that's correct turn on the generator and the power usage should come on no no okay why is it not coming on now the oh the cable has a power usage it doesn't the power usage of the cable is not updated the power usage of this is one and its connector is one and its cable is a zero so, so why isn't it updating the power usage to the cable i'm sure that worked just a minute ago let's just check it's not just a fluke so generator activated power is on but there's no current power usage we just had this um working so let's click on the cable and there's no power usage on the cable right have we just yeah okay power usage let's just disconnect both of these for a moment okay we're only setting the power usage on the outputs there so that should be all right yeah no that's fine no i won't disconnect those um so why are we not getting any power onto there so the electric connector itself checks for power on the connected cable gets the required power from the connected cable yeah so that is correct so hmm i'm probably missing something stupid here from the connected cable so the connected cable if so if we have power get the power usage no we want to set the power usage don't we from an input yeah that's what we want to do set power usage from um the required power of the input so whichever the input is if that's an input that's an input so um We can only have one input. Yeah, we can only have one input. So, there's no point checking this one. Because that has to be an output to, to get there. Um, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So, we're missing a step here that needs to be changed so maybe i've overcomplicated this um this part of the code so what do i need to do i need to take whichever is the input and and get i don't i, sh I shouldn't be using an or should i i shouldn't be using an or right first we check that that a is valid so let's do this as a sequence okay so let's look at the luggage not the logic luggage logic in this we're checking that the a connector is valid 
if it's an output we're setting the power on and we're getting the power usage from the we're setting the required to the socket of there okay so this is in the cable so the cable always has a power usage here so what we were doing before is absolutely right um, now if it's not if it's the input check that it's valid make sure this is the output power it on and set the power usage from N connector B only oh but we still need to send it to yes N connector B yeah so we send the power usage from there so the power usage of the cable so what we need to do is check that the power usage of the cable is set because this is definitely setting it here it's definitely setting it on the one that is supposed to be so the power usage is getting to the cable from where so we're checking for power um, get connected cable so this is a connected cable and we're setting the power usage the required power so how are we setting the required power we're not we're just using the required power of so here we're setting the required power here so the power usage into the required power or off if it's false let's 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 run this again something isn't quite right and it's confusing the hell out of me right now so we're all connected cables connected right generator is now on so we have power so the field light as a power usage of one and the cable as a power usage of zero so why isn't the cable getting a power usage are we doing this backwards so this required power current power zero let's ignore that the electrical cable so where's the field light so the field light is getting the power usage of one and it's setting it to the electrical connector base and so the electrical connector of the base should have a required power but it's not power usage set required power to one um, let's have a look in here because it might not be showing properly there so the field base connector it has a required power of one okay but the cable has no power usage okay so the base has the power hmm but this connected base does so that has one um, this is now powered but it's not getting any power usage so the base here is getting its required power yes okay but where are we sending it either way this needs to be sent then to the cable so where's the connected cable and are we doing anything with it no we're not um so what is the electric cable doing it's setting the required power only to there but it's not getting it into the cable fine 
that's where we go wrong. So the required power needs to get in now to the electrical cable. So we need to get um, we don't store the connected cable within the base and that's probably why or do we no we don't we don't store the connected pattern cable in the base right connected connection object yeah we do yeah we do it's there it's the connection object okay so the collector connector base then needs to send this to so let's bring this out get connected cable oh, why is that not showing up there right okay so we want to set power usage of the cable uh, to get required power into there and that needs to be set from both of those right let's see what happens now let's see if the cable is not connected let's just just jig there we go always have to check this <laughs> so generator on the lights on and we have current power usage okay now let's deactivate it and the power usage is gone there we go so now we've got those and it took us a hell of a long time to get there um this is where where coding takes so long because there's a lot of debugging involved and it can get a bit confusing um now we have that what we can do now is we can detect that issue so in the generator um we are going to check and create a new function for this um check power required um if it exceeds the maximum which is here then we're going to be in trouble <laughs> basically so yeah back in our create not in create boards you know event graph construction something here so we want to remove all this here so let's delete that power because we're putting this inside something so we don't need it um no current power yeah that's what we're using yeah current power delete oh actually no we'll, we'll keep that um, as as just an indicator so then all we need to do is put in there current power okay so that will be our indicator to the current power so we'll bring that back down to there and then we're going to take this I'm going to go cut it and we're going to go into check power required and we're going to paste it control v make sure you click in there first so what we're going to do we're going to for loop it again and we're going to add this to a local variable and this is going to be power check and that's a float so we're going to add that onto there yeah And then uh what are we going to do come on. don't know what happened there my mouse just got stuck so set power check okay once the power check's done yeah we're going to set current power yeah to there the power check automatically resets every time it goes into the function 
and we're still going to set that now what we're going to do is once we've done the power check we need to do the power check first then we need to set the current power so we know about it we then need to do a greater than so um, greater not greater or equal greater so this current power compared to our maximum power yeah and then we i could have just done a compare node to be honest but oh well i have done it now put that in so the current power is larger than the max power we need to um turn it off basically so set active set activated to false otherwise do nothing um so we can test this out now now have we oh our cables done a little jiggly there we go let's run this let's turn our generator on our power usage is fine because it's only on one oh it's not set again why is that so oh because we haven't called check power required yeah so an event tick let's stop this for a second um we do it after i would guess check power required and then bring this one into our print string not that one don't want to do it twice there we go that's better let's just save all so we don't lose anything uh let's run this again kick out oh did i check the cable oh no i didn't let's do that run it and we'll check the cable yeah that's all there I did check it anyway so activate so this should switch on and that should go to one yeah it's got a little bit of delay i'm not bothered too much about that it's just the ticks um don't mind things like we can actually improve that by lowering the tick amount but i don't think i really want to don't think i really care uh let's just make sure that it the power usage drops when it goes off it should go to zero there we go so let's activate it now what i'm going to do on the fly here is this floodlight base i want to check it changes power usage to um 10 and see what happens there we go the power usage is 10. now the maximum on oh didn't mean to do that shift f1 the maximum on the generator is 30. so i'm now going to check by changing this light to 30. and it shouldn't do anything should carry on going yeah that's fine now let's just try something really obscure 30.1 and the light's gone off and the generator is off and it's reset that um it's because of where i've put it i will change how that works eventually but it's turned it off basically and it's because it's exceeded the maximum power input now i could just have a, a flag that just says right the last bit of power it was asked for was 30.1 and just report that afterwards um because i'm not going to go into full use like they're doing satisfactory i'm not going to um put in a graph and all that malarkey because this is just basic we don't need that much level of control we don't need that much level of interaction but we will need to have some sort of information telling us that we're overrunning our power allocation so yet another long episode just to do a bit of a power check let's bring this back down to 30 um but it's not going to do anything because we need to switch the generator back on let's go um, what we could do is actually put that check in uh, when we click activated 
and start it but it's negligible it's like within seconds isn't it let's, let's just see if we turn that off how long it takes to detect how much power it needs so we know 30 30.0001 it's still more but it might be a bit of generation of error there <laughs> we'll soon see let's switch it on and off we go and the light comes on at 30.001 ah but it detected it so it used a bit of fuel thought oh, no, you're overpowering mate and switches off i think that delay is kind of realistic um because it's not always going to be a perfect timing is it so you know these things need to be checked it might have been a power surge so you might have it so that the machinery is like oh bit of a power surge oh no it's okay oh no it's not okay boom search it off so there we go we have now power restrictions on the generator um we can test that also by changing the max power here to 31 and if we restart the generator on it comes it's going to check the power usage and the power usage is fine and it's carrying on yay there we go and change our max power back to oh let's put it down to 25 and it's definitely going to go off yeah there we go um there could be options like auto restart on power consumption usage or that sort of thing um we could have switches on here to disable and enable different ports we could do lots of stuff um but right now we have a generator and we have a lamp and it works um so let's just let's just check put our light down let's run it oh i didn't check the cable oh it's still connected that's good let's turn the jenny on um and it'll probably come on and then go off again because i haven't set the maximum on here oh no i didn't really that, that was in the last session so yeah one current power usage of one the lights working everything is well and there we go a working jenny um next time around we'll probably look at um making a different size jenny and you can see how that new script works um which automatically allocates um automatically allocates those ports to your connections um i will just probably mm, i might change it to a a collision class i might do that in the next episode I'm not sure yet but anyway i hope that wasn't too long i hope that wasn't too much of messiness um there is a lot of tidying up we can do and um what i will be doing is what i should have done in the first place and it is good practice to create a flow chart of what happens next and that's basically um switch the generator on what happens and you put a flow down of all the order of events and all the things it needs to check and then you program it and it's the same with all these connections and things um it's got a little bit messy because we put all different things in different in different connectors um we're going to take the essence off the cable the only thing the cable is going to do is have some sort of connections and we're going to leave it down to these electrical connectors to do the work um so yeah and then that means electrical connectors can then communicate to with whatever it's connected to so that there isn't no uh so there isn't no crossover so the electrical connectors will do all the work so we need to fathom out um inputs and outputs make the cables so that they are just inputs and outputs um yeah and we'll go from there so thanks for watching i hope it's helped you somewhat and yeah we'll leave it there thank you for listening and for watching take care and goodbye